happy and free. Fear have no rest for the weary. How beautiful heaven must be. How beautiful heaven must be. Sweet home, other happy and free. Fear heaven no rest for the weary. How beautiful heaven must be. He job our room. Lere oni bagbo. He job our room. Lere oni bagbo. Magia kuno biefi muade. Shashedanu Baba Mimo Muade Leo Leo Go Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's rise up to pray. Baba Iraya, your logo, near Chalet, for your fate, and the latter was a jury. Latterly, a cake or near Bay Serre, when you roll your jaw and when you're quit jaw, when you could look to see fire or low I am looking for original. At T T, then the top baller shall lay. You move, you know. I am right, right, but I am here. At look where I only bow, just bow, look, bow, where I am. I am looking for to. I am about to look for Okun Ogbo Oye Tutu. That is original. I just look for Ofi Fonwa by I am here. Look, you go where? Let me watch you at Adora. Go go. I am bow, just bow. Jesus, Olua wa. Let's be seated. Ejekia Joko. For about uh, four weeks now. Biose, many by. We have been studying the event of the last days. Ati shagbeya wo awo awo ami opiyo. And if we are just studying, 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 we don't. Look back and see how we are fearing in them. It will not be good. Ah, tia kubasha agbiye wo la ti mo ba ashi mo si kiyodara. So that's why tonight I want to ask us some questions. Ah, to read the ni la shale i ibiri yuwa. How many studies have we have we done with so far? Ah, e kome lo la ti koba i. Yes, who want to answer us? Maybe look at that. Just raise up your hand. I think I know what's okay. Is that candy? Pardon? Three. Two. A committee. Okay, who else? Only a committee like to call. Yes. How many? Meta. A committee. Yes, who else? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who will mention the first one for us? Tanya Dow Daruka Koko Eko. So the fe the answer to the first question is three studies. Ah, it down will be a coco ni a comment a latico. So who will tell us the first one? Tanya Dow a Korea a qua coco for yes. Yes. Okay. The second coming of Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. The second one. Kini ya kuri ya kokiji. Okay. Oni rapture. Ibasuke. Rapture. The third one. Kwa ni kweta. 
Yes. The resurrection of the dead. The resurrection of the dead. Are you convinced now that we have three studies so far? <laughs> Praise. Praise the Lord. Now, the res resurrection of the dead. What does it mean? Kini o tu mo si a ba ba o lo se ye wa si Oh how many resurrections okay Yes my sister The second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ Pardon The second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ rapture No we said the resurrection of the dead What does it mean Pe kini ajin de awon ku tu mo si I, I still say the same thing. It means the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. No. That means, okay, how do I put it? Should I say it means that every dead soul will be awoken on that day? Okay. Yes, you are gone. Okay. Every dead soul will resurrect on that day. On that day. Yes. Okay. How many resurrections do we have? Uh -huh. Just one. Where's is it one? Yes, our mommy there. One I didn't know, Coco Bow, Kula, Gigi. Okay, Meji. Ah, uh, which one is the first one? It will need a coco. Yes, our sister there. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Okay. Then the living that are in Christ, then we now. Follow. Okay, so we have first resurrection. We are doing the akoko and what? So when you turn on the kuni no Christi, turn on kuni no Christi. How do you want to do? That first resurrection is for the saints yeah, that the, died in the Lord. I are doing the akoko ni fu and what? Ku to kuni no Christi. Okay, you, you said two. What about the second one? Kiwani are the keji ni meji. Yes. Second resurrection. I didn't the KG by The second one is those that are in Christ. Those that are in Christ that are alive. No. Yes, second resurrection. I didn't the KG by Yes. Sinners to judgment. Yes. Second resurrection will be the resurrection of those that died as sinners. And by the time they rise, by the time they, they will resurrect into damnation. So that is why we are saying we should do everything possible to make sure that we remain only pure, righteous till the point of our death. Or when the rapture will take place. What is rapture? Yes, we are going to the second resurrection. The away of the saints to meet God in the air. Okay. The catching away of the saints okay. to meet the Lord Lati, in the air. Lati ba olu ofurufu. Then, when saints might have gone to meet the Lord in the air, what, what will be happening here on earth? Nigba tawa yo befo ati wa lo furufu pa lulu wa kini yo ma shele la yini. There will be great tribulation. Boye ipon jun la yu wa. And that is what we are studying tonight. The great tribulation. Ah. Uh, the great tribulation. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. My prayer is that uh, during, during this time, like Okoyi, you and I, we will not be on the planet Earth in Jesus' name. So we discover that in the program of God, the great tribulation is the time 
when Antichrist will take possession of this world for a reign of terror. Ah, Igwai, gege bi motel alone ni yuko akuko ina akuko ti ah ashudi si Christi yuko ba joba ye lati fi aja ye. And it's going to be a time of terrible suffering on earth. Just like we have studied that the rapture will take place, the sins will be taken away into the air, then here on earth, Antichrist will now emerge. This Antichrist is, is a man. is going to is going to be in form of a man just like you and I. Actually, secrecy be any on you, but it's going to be somebody, a man with supernatural power. She boy, you joy in your tuny, Agbara, Toyato, see Agbara, I said, I knew with diabolical power. A tuny Agbara, it's going to be a blasphemer. You join it, you mouth so rudy because he will be calling himself God. Which other God are you looking for? Which other God are you expecting? I am God. I can do all things for you. Let's look at the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 8. Daniel chapter 8. Read verse 23. How can I say that? Daniel 8:23. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up, and his power shall be mighty. That's the answer. Are talking about and his power will be mighty but not by his own power and he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people so holy people will be destroyed and through policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart. He will be boasting. He's going to be a booster. And by peace shall destroy many. Because he will tell you, I've come with peace. Peace you, of God. You in fact, I'm the God that gives peace. You, so, it's so just to, it's going, to, it's going to deceive people. And through that, people, they will accept him. So, through this peace is introducing to people, people will be destroyed. They shall also stand up against prince of princes, but it shall be broken without hand. At the end of the day, who can fight the battle with God? Nobody. So the great tribulation can be variously described, it can be described in various ways. So if you are reading your Bible and you come across Jacob's trouble. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob Israel. Uh -huh. So trouble. It's uh, going to be Israelite's trouble that time. So Jeremiah chapter. That's how Jeremiah described it in Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. Uh, read verse 7. Jeremiah 30 verse 7. It says, Alas, Jeremiah 30 verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But... He shall be saved out of it. Jacob's trouble. Jacob. But during this time, he shall be saved. The Israel, at the end of the day, the Israelites 
they will be saved. After they, after they might realize their foolishness. We, we will get to that later. And another description that can be given to this great tribulation is found in the book of, book of Matthew 24. Matthew 24 verse 21. Matthew is describing this as the day that has never been since the beginning of the world. Matthew we can give it another description. That's Atu, this great tribulation. Prophet Joel. He called it the day of the Lord. So you look at the book of Joel. Joel in, uh, in Joel chapter, chapter 1 is there. Chapter... Two is there. That's Joel chapter one, uh, verse fifteen. Joel chapter one, verse fifteen. Alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand. The day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. In Joel chapter two, verse one, say, "Blow ye the trumpet in Zion." and sound an alarm in my holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the lord comment that's the great tribulation for it is nigh at hand a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people and a strong there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. So that is the book, that is Prophet Joel describing the great tribulation. So it's not, it's not going to be a day of joy. And that is why we must do everything possible to make sure that we don't partake in this great tribulation. Sephaniah is describing it in his own way. As, as a day of trouble, a day of distress, a day of wasteness, and desolation. We can see that in Sephaniah, Sephaniah chapter 1. Sephaniah chapter 1. Sephaniah is after Abacock. After Abacock and before a guy. So, Sephaniah chapter 1. Verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Can you imagine around 12 noon and uh, everything just become dark? Can you imagine that situation? That's what is describing here. So, when you are reading Bible and you are coming across all these descriptions of the, you, you should know that it is the great tribulation that is being described. Daniel called that day a time of trouble. Time of trouble. Time of trouble. Daniel chapter. Daniel 
Daniel chapter 12, verse, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book of life. Written in the book of life. So that is how Daniel described it. Now, we can see the description of the, the, the great tribulation. What's the purpose of the great tribulation? Because it has a purpose on this planet Earth, even in heaven. Number one. The number one purpose is to punish and suffer Israel. For, re for rejecting Jesus as their Messiah. If you look at if you look at the book of uh, the book of Matthew. Matthew. Chapter you discuss chapter Matthew chapter one. Matthew Jesus Christ came for them. But he was rejected. And when he was rejected, what happened? He turned to the Gentile world. And that is why gospel was able to, to come to you and I. So in the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call it Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. But he was rejected. So, for them to have rejected Jesus, and it will surprise you that they are still rejecting him till today. During the time of tribulation, he will punish them. And after that punishment, they will now realize that, oh, they have been a foolish nation all this while. What's the purpose of tribulation? That's the second purpose now. Ah. Is, is to judge the unbelieving men and women of all ages. All ages. In the book of Zechariah. Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 12. Read verses 10 to 11. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10 to 11. You will see it there. So, the great tribulation will take off immediately after the rapture of the church. And it will last for seven years. Just as we have been told in the previous studies. And this time, when, when tribulation will be taking place here on earth, marriage, marriage supper of the Lamb will be taking place place in the air with our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the end of these seven years, of this great tribulation, Jesus Christ will physically appear on the earth. And maybe you are wondering, will it be in the color here? Or will it be in Lagos State? Or in Kaduna or where? Or in Kaduna, New Tishele. It's going to appear that the, the advent will appear on Mount Olives. Uh, as in, in, in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. If, if you read Zechariah chapter 14. Verse 4. You will see it there. Zechariah 14. Zechariah 14. Verse 4. Zechariah 14. Verse 4. And his feet shall stand in that day 
upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem, on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof, towards the east and towards the west, and there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove towards the north, and half of it towards the south. So it's going to be on Mount Olive. That's where Jesus Christ will appear. Eventually, it will settle in Jerusalem. And it's going to be there for 1,000 years. That is when it will rain. And it's been referred to as the millennial reign of Jesus. Revelation chapter 20. You read verses 4 to 5. Revelation 20 verses 4 to 5. Just like I've said, the, the, the great tribulation will start after the rapture. Why? Because God doesn't want his own children to suffer in the great tribulation. He will not want his own children to partake in, in, in the judgment and, and the destruction that will come upon the earth. And there are two occasions we can that can back up this claim remember during the time of noah noah and his family they were removed from the from from the earth before flood swept away the 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 the, the, the earth that time genesis chapter 6 Genesis verses 7 to 9. Genesis chapter 6. Verses 7 to 9. Genesis chapter 6. Verses 7 to 9. Genesis chapter 7 verse 1. I will read that one, Genesis chapter 7, verse 1. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. So that is to tell us that it is only the righteous ones that will be saved before the tribulation come upon the planet earth. So even if you don't believe what we are saying, what we are telling you today, that the rapture will take place before great tribulation, what about the time of Noah? Another instance is the time of Lot. Remember, Lot was removed out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot, Lot and his family. Lot, Lot, the wife and the children. But along the line, the wife disobeyed. He looked back. And she became a monument today in, uh, in, in Israel. Israel. Uh, Genesis chapter 19. Genesis 19, 12 to 13. Verse 15. Verse 17. Then 23 to 26. But in your own private study, you can read everything. That's the whole chapter 19. So now, this is to tell us, you have been brought out of the world by the grace of God. And you have been claiming you are born again, you are saved. And this is to tell us that that erroneous doctrine of once saved, ever saved, is not so. 
Ai ni lati fi won wa pe code to nko pe to ba ti gba ola le kan ati gba ola papapa ni rara. Saved except you remain saved to the end. Nigba to ba ti gba ola o gudo wa ninu igbala ti ti dopin. Your salvation will not be full. Ai igbala re ki yo de kun rere. Lord's wife was saved out of Sodom and Gomorrah. But she disobeyed. She disobeyed. Don't look back. So if you claim you have been saved, holy, pure, righteous, and you are still looking back to all those things you have left behind in the world, your salvation will not be real. Ah, but let Jeff give you a tip. Bala, let's talk. She born in Bujwe. I want to talk to Philip. She know he is Balare. He is Okunre. You claim you are saved. You are still manipulating, committing sins here and there, doing evil here and there, and you claim you are going to heaven. No, it's not. Ah, Rara, we are talking about Bala. To inshaAllah, that that ni song to inshe waika. Igbalare. That's exactly what happened to lost wife. He can lose her. She is a lost. Oh, does it mean Sodom and Gomorrah were born? Oh, wow. With my jewelries, with all those things I have in the world, in, in Sodom and Gomorrah, maybe that's what you, you are claiming. Oh, so those friends, I will leave them. The enjoyment of the world, I will leave it. The pleasures of the world, I will leave it. Ah, no, let me practice it a bit. Ah. Oh, I am not in Europe. We have a boom, maybe it's money. You are, you know, that bear back on a lot of children are there. I think, but I hear Rara, oh, good or even so. You are saved by the grace of God, continue to be saved to the end. So what happened uh, with Lot and his wife, uh, Noah, during the time of Noah, this is how God will take away his children before the great tribulation. So just like I've said earlier, my brethren, let me encourage us today that we should do everything possible to make sure that we make the rapture. Why? Because this time of tribulation will be full of woes, full of judgment, famines, bloody wars, explosions, plagues, terrors, anguish, and earthquakes. So many things, evils, will be for this world. This is a time when burning rocks from heaven will be falling on the earth and scorching the earth. Seas will be polluted everywhere. Water rivers will be polluted. Cattle and vegetations will be destroyed and millions of people will die. From catastrophes. I akuko ino ni binula yo rula toki wa ti yo da ungo go rula ye ti osi mungo go shebe. Even if you don't believe this, just look at what is happening around the world now. Be out like by igbo eja wantu shele ni orile di ayifa yi. Earthquake here and there. Ah ille riri si so ille mimi. Wars here and there. Ogun soke sodo. And he said, when you see all these things, you should be preparing for. The rapture. Look at the book of Amos. Chapter 5. Amos chapter 5, verses 18 to 19. In the book of Isaiah chapter 2. Read verse 19. I said, Kekon, Dilogun Rebakono. Isaiah 24, verses 1 to 3. Verse 6. Verse 19. In the book of Luke, chapter 1. 21. Luke 21. Luke 21. Luke 21. Verses 25 to 26. That is a let me repeat Amos chapter 5 verses 18 to 19 Isaiah chapter 2 verse 19 Isaiah 24 verses 1 to 3 verse 6 and verse 19 so in the midst of these Larry, Christ will now arise with his activities Let's read this in Revelation chapter. That's the activities of the Antichrist that will come up 
in the midst of all these things that we have mentioned in uh, Revelation chapter 13 Revelation 13 we read verse 11 and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamp and he speak as a dragon and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Uh, when you want to read, you can read from verse 1. Uh, that's when you will see the first beast that is being referred to. Uh -huh. So uh, that's Revelation 13 from verse 1 to 10. I'm reading from verse 11 now. Verse 13. And he dwelt great wonders. This is the Antichrist. He dwelt great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. He will be performing wonders, you miracles. You must, you must just to deceive people. So there is no way you will suspect that it's not. It's not God. And deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, and they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. I mean, when you, when you see image and he gave life image was talking ah, what else do you need that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed because it will make it will make the image of the beast and it will, the image of the beast will be talking. <laughs> <laughs> what type, this is another god and it will, it will tell them Worship, worship that beast. And if you say no, he's going, he's going to kill them. Kill as many as possible. Verse 16 now. And, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bound, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he, except he, that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred six score and six. That's six, six, six. So this time. If you say you will not worship the beast, it will be killed. They will be denied having food, having movement, having good things that time. And it will now tell you, okay, you want to buy food, you want to eat, you want to drink water, you want to enjoy yourself, take this man. And if you say no, you are in trouble. But once you take that mark, you are doomed for life. That is, that is what we are trying to, we are not frightening us. We are only telling you that you should prepare to make the rapture. All this bickering, all this anger in the heart, animosity, fighting, insulting, wars. What are you doing with them? Since you have been doing these things, what does it profit you? Why can't you drop them and start preparing now that, Lord, whatever it will cost me, Help me to make the rapture. And it will surprise you that even before that time comes, right now we have Antichrist in our midst. First John chapter 4. First John chapter 4. Read verse 3. He said, and 
and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. That, that, that spirit is not of God. And that is why you need to run away from all these people, all these false prophets, all these false preachers it that will tell you that, look, there is nobody, uh, Jesus Christ, there is nothing like that. He, he is not the son of God. Uh -uh. He, just, he just dropped from heaven. Run away from them. But Don't let them pollute your mind. So, and this is that spirit of Antichrist. Anybody that is saying that is having the spirit of Antichrist. Whereof ye have heard that it should come. You are hearing that this spirit will that this Antichrist will come. And he said, and even now already is it in the world. So don't be deceived. Antichrists are in the world today. Then another thing I want to dispel uh, from, from our act tonight is this issue of 144,000 that they are claiming will make heaven, that you don't need to bother yourself. Move a car by one in Kroo, Lokowa, it was only by 144,000. So all these are the spirit of Antichrist. If you, Revelation chapter 7. Uh, verse 6. Verse 6. They will tell you why. One of them approached me one day he with their books and everything. I was telling him, my brother, what, what are you doing? You don't he want to go to heaven. He said, uh, uh, why are you bothering yourself? The number of people that will go to heaven, they are numbered as how many of them? What is your car? What you don't know? One forty-four thousand. I say, ah, we want forty-four thousand. Last son, you don't know. You are a dead man. So if you read Revelation chapter seven, because you don't care, you know, if you only keep it, I will read. I will read select. Passages there in uh, verses one to four. Okay, and okay. after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Why is it so? Because those Israelites they want to be sealed. And in verse two, and I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living God and a cry with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea those angels that will hurt the world saying hurt not the earth why neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servant of our God in their forehead and I heard the number of them which were sealed and there were still an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of who? Children of who? Children of Israel. So, this one, one forty-four thousand, they are for the children, it's not your program at all as Gentiles. How many tribes, how many tribes do we have in Israel? How many? Twelve. Okay, if you read down, if you, he, started, he started mentioning their, their tribes. Verse 5. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of God were sealed 12,000. Like that, like that, like that. 12 times 12. 144,000. So that's how this, it, it, it doesn't concern you at all. Oh, it's what, it's, it's a, it's a, that is a program of God for the children of Israel. Oh, Jay, to Lord, oh, for, oh, Israel like, oh, oh, Verse 9. Yes, eh, yes, eh. Verse 9. Yes, eh, yes, eh. And this I beheld. Now, if they tell you that it's only 144 people that will make heaven. We want 44 in the corner. You about this to job. I ask them about this place we want to write now. I be one year about Labita Feka. After this, that's verse 9. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations, kindreds, and people, and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palm in their hand and cry with a loud... Now, that's verse 9. All these people, where are they from? 
Amen. 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 That we meet the Lord in the air. I mean, that will be saved during this tribulation. So, don't be deceived. It is real. Oh, Joy is real. Great tribulation is real. But my prayer is, you will not be here that time. I say you will not be here. So, you, you can read the rest down because of our time. Why the Antichrist will be unleashing terror on earth. Now, what will the saints be doing that time? Uh, Remember, saints will not be on head. They will be with the Lord in the air. They will be celebrating. What will they be doing? They will be receiving reward in form of crown. Reward. Now, look at it. I brought this thing from that place. So, all these things that we have around, they are pointing us to heaven. Look, look at it, say five crowns and rewards you must not miss in heaven as a Christian. Look at, look, look at the first one, crown of righteousness. Incorruptible crown. Crown of life. Crown of glory, Adiogo. crown of rejoicing, Ati Adi, eh, and all these, all these crowns, they are for specific work that we will be doing here on earth. Like uh, the first crown, that's crown of righteousness, that one is for believers who are ready and waiting for the return of Jesus. Incorruptible, incorruptible crown, what is it for? This is the victor's crown for those who disciplined their bodies and brought their bodies onto subjection and had self-control. If you read First Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty-five to twenty-seven. That's for incorruptible crown. The first crown, crown of righteousness. Read, read that one in Second Timothy chapter four, verse eight. Timothy KG It's like we don't move. We don't. If you if you have be moving around, you will, you will have seen this thing, and you will, be, you will be praying to God that, Lord, why should I miss these crowns? The third, the, the, the third crown is crown of life. This is for the Matthias. For those, for those who are faithful unto death. Those who patiently endure testings, Temptations and trials. You can read this in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 12. Your husband is persecuting you. Your boss in the office is, 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 is persecuting you. Because you refuse to subject yourself unto him or her. But you took your stand. So even if you die in the process, you will receive your crown. Now, crown of glory. The elders' crown. He said this crown is for those leaders, pastors, elders, teachers, who are godly examples to the flock of believers that were entrusted and assigned to their care. So, you, you read this in First Peter chapter five, verses two to four. So, if you see us as preachers, as pastors, and we are, we are violent with sin in your, in your life, you shouldn't blame us. 
we are only working to receive our crown on that day. So, so that is it that when we are pushing you here, drawing you here, you must be holy, you must be pure, you must forsake sin, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. We are working for our, like me, I'm working for my crown. Back on now, I'm not chef for a day, me. Ben, sir. Okay. Now, the last crown, the fifth crown, crown of rejoicing. I dare you, I take care This is the crown, this is the soul winners. I tell you, you are found a Jerioko. So, if you are a soul winner, be our non Jerioko, you should be ready to receive your crown. Ah, my shit, For believe, For believers who are obeying Jesus. Great commission. What is the great commission? Kiwani Ashela Jesu Fumbo Bo and Oli Bo ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Carlos Bubaya Kasima was your refugee. Where do we have it? Ibola Tiri. Okay. God bless you. You can at the same time see another in Matthew twenty eight. I read verses nineteen to twenty. Matthew twenty eight. Verses nineteen to twenty. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19. Matthew 28, 19 to 20. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19. And you know, it is possible for only one person to receive all these crowns. So if on that day, I put one in front, one in the middle, <laughs> one by this side, another one by this side, another one at the back, and our daddy is leading us, and we are following. How beautiful will it be on I will, I will have my crown. So whatever you are doing in the service of God, you can never be in vain. I will encourage you to continue. And it shall be well with you. Now, that's when tribulation will be going on here on earth. It and we are with Jesus in the air. What, what will we be doing? We will be receiving our crowns. We will be receiving our mansions. We will be receiving new names. We will be receiving uh, white stones. At the judgment seat of Christ. You see, when believers, when we appear before the throne of judgment, we will, we will, not, we will, not, be, we will not appear to be judged. But we, we, will, we will appear to receive our reward. So, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. We will it Verses 11 to 15. First Corinthians 15. I mean, First Corinthians 3. First Corinthians 3. First Corinthians 3. First Corinthians 3. First Corinthians First Corinthians chapter 9. First Corinthians 3. 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 First Corinthians Romans chapter 14, verse 10 to 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. Jesus said, Verse 11. Verse 11. John 14, verses 1 to 2. Let's read that one. Let, your, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. That is Jesus Christ talking. Jesus in my Father's Sarah. house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back. Not I may. He said, I will come back Jesus. again Jesus. and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. So, so we should note something that the believer's time of judgment and reward is to evaluate believers' works for which they have received reward or laws of reward for which they are going to receive reward. 
or they are going to receive a loss. If I don't want to be a that you need to be she will take it. See, I'll be on my way to Ogba. At the end, she will be on So when you appear before the throne of 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 judgment, just like I said, it's just to evaluate. You need to she ah I won't go to that she. The reward you must get. Just like I like like I've explained, the crowns to be received. So now, let me tell you tonight that every saint that will be raptured will be eternally saved. Now, what will be the difference is just the type of reward you will receive. It's like saying an office with air conditioner and another office without air conditioner. Which one is good? Especially when the weather is hot. Which one will you prefer? So, that will be the type of reward we are going to receive. Now, what will we be doing in the air with our Lord Jesus? We'll be rejoicing and feasting at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Sinners will be on earth suffering. Read Revelation chapter 19. Verses 6, 6 to 9. What other things will we be doing? As, as saints that have been raptured. We will be worshipping God with the angels. Revelation chapter 7. Read verses 9 to 17. We will just, you know, angels in heaven, they are just worshipping God. We will, we will just join them and we will be worshipping God along with them. What else will we be doing with Jesus in heaven? We will be preparing for the second advent with Jesus on white horse. That is, you know, after, after the the end of the tribulation here on earth, Jesus Christ will now come physically. So we will be preparing to come on earth with him. Jude read the book of Jude. Jude has only one chapter. So you read verses 14 and 15. Read the book of Matthew as well. Chapter 25, verse 31. So the great tribulation will end at the end of the seventh year. That's when about two thirds of Jerusalem will have been destroyed. By the, by, by, by the Antichrist. Then the children of Israel, they will have realized this time around, the children of Israel, they will have realized their foolishness, they will now repent. In, 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 in great money and tears. This time around, they will be calling for the Messiah. The Messiah they, they, they rejected. Before the tribulation, they will now be calling for that's Jesus Christ. That oh, Jesus, we, 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 we will now believe. That you are our Messiah. Please come. Come and reign on earth. Come and establish your millennial reign over all humanity. Where will you see this? The book of Zechariah. Chapter 12. You read verses 4 to 14. Zechariah 12. Verses 4 to 14. Zechariah 13. Chapter 1. Verses 5 to 7. Then we read the book of Joel, chapter 3. How can you with Joel Luriketa Abakono? Verses 16 to 13 to 16. How can I take a look at the book of Hebrews, chapter 8? Hebrews, chapter 8. Verses 16 to 17. 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 Verses 16 to 
You read verses 8 to 12. I say, Josike Jilare. Romans 11. 25 to 27. Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 17. We are giving you all these references so that you will go back home and read them. And all this we give you, we give you conviction. Now Jesus will now come. That's after the tribulation, the great tribulation. The children of Israel they have repented of their foolishness. Jesus Christ will now come and destroy the Antichrist along with all the false prophets and cast them into the lake of fire Le together ye. with all his armies. Le ye, the... you like Jesus, you want to talk about Israeli Tibagbo, you part of the scripture at our Mogu Renu, you do once you know on a party. Where will this one take place? It's going to take place at the battle of Armageddon. You shall let you know it's Armageddon. That's in the valley of Megiddo. Uh, ni, uh, uh, la Magedo. Uh, this just believe as we are telling you that there will be a battle between Jesus that time and, and, and Antichrist. And it's going to be a fierce battle. And that is why it's being referred to as the battle of Armageddon. This time, devil also he will be bound Nibai. and cast into the bottomless pit, and he will be there for the next one thousand years. If you read Revelation chapter nineteen, Tabaka Bala, if you Revelation nineteen, read verse twenty. Uh, Revelation nineteen twenty. And, and the beast was taken, and with him the first prophets that wrought miracles before him, with, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. So, all of them, the, the, the devil, the false prophet, everyone, those, even those that he was able to deceive, Every one of them will be cast to the bottomless pit. Read also Revelation chapter 20. Verses 1 to 3. Revelation 20. Let's quickly read that one. Revelation 20 verses 1 to 3. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, the same name, the same person. Satan, devil, dragon, serpent is the same person and burnt him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should, he, should, he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be lose a, 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 a little season. So that is where for the next 1,000 years, devil, Satan, enemy, I mean dragon, whatever the name may be, it will be kept there. <laughs> And what will be happening the, 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 during this 1,000 years, the millennial reign of Jesus Christ will be established on earth. So he will build his millennial temple at Jerusalem from where the whole world will be ruled. And this will be the form of our of, of, of our series next week. Ah, uh, you should call temple to Because you might that, that time the whole world will just be will be just like you have Lagos State. Because everywhere will be one. 
So it will be in Jerusalem ruling for the next 1,000 years. This time it will have come with the saints that were with him in the air. And I will be one of those saints that will come back to reign with him. I will one of them. Now, let, let, let me ask us a question. Having known all these, this evil that will before the world, during this great tribulation, what manner of man must you be? What manner of man must I be? Let's, let's, let's think within ourselves. Should you be toiling with sins? Should you be toiling with iniquities? Should you be toiling with, you be toiling with anger in your heart? Keeping malice. This individual, we will never talk until we get to heaven. You, you will not get to heaven. You know, you know the danger. In the process of that, that is keeping malice, Keeping anger, animosity, uh, lying, hero, iniquities, lack of law. If rapture should take place, that's the end. Or death take place. Assuming you sleep and you couldn't wake up. With animosity in your heart. What will happen? Can you share it? So, that is why I will encourage us tonight. Whatever it will cost you. I, used to, I say, me, I've put my hands on the plow. This is what I have put my hands on the plow. The bridge that took me from the world to Christ. I took me from the world to Christ. I've already cut it off. It's cut off. So even if I say I want to go back, it won't be possible for me. So forward ever, backward never. I will encourage you tonight in your life, in your family, be violent with sin, with iniquity, with manipulation, with Line. Remember Peter when, 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 when Jesus Christ was on his way to the cross and he said, Ah, Jesus, no, it will not be fulfilled. Get back, get back from me. Get back, get back behind me. Jesus, you Satan. Satan. He was Satan. He's not calling. Peter Satan. That, that satanic spirit inside Peter is eh, what Jesus satani. was rebuking. Eh, so that is how you should be violent with all those evil spirits in your life. Spirit, spirit of lying, eh, manipulation, witchcraft, eh, wizardry. Eh, be violent with them. What will it profit you? Through all these evil manipulation here and there, you gain the whole world and at the end of the day, you are born in hell. Matthew chapter 11 before we pray. Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 and from the days of John the Baptist until now. So, it's not a matter of Maybe we are we are we are trying to dribble or something something from the uh, when was that long time till now till present day even till this hour that we are talking now from the and from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. That's it, by George John Baptist you are titi di o fiti si si ye. That's it, by any word that koko ni jobo ro titi afagbara wo. Until when your neighbors, your colleagues, your brothers, your sisters in the church, until when they say, ah, ah, are you the only one that will go to heaven? You have not started your journey to heaven. That's the truth. Until they are accusing you, nicknaming you. Ah, ah. 
Lord, if you see your Yeah, Jesus. Uh, uh, mother of Jesus. Baba Jesus. Father of Jesus. Uh, there's one echo bank. Echo bank at, come at gate. Ni, there's gate one lady there. Um, if you see her, uh, you don't need to say this is a child of God. Ah, niba tabati uri abu budo sepe omolo leni ishe. So I, the first time I saw, I said, this person look like. Uh, a member of that church. And when somebody will call her, he said, Yeah, Jesus. Ba, mother of Jesus. I said, No wonder. Look at the hairdo. Look at what she, she's putting on. Look at how he's attending to customers. Even, even when customers were impatient and they were abusing her, he's, a, he's appealing to them. And when I heard the name Yajesu, I said, <laughs> I said, no wonder. You shall be well with us. I said, it shall be well when with us. Uh, all these studies shouldn't be in vain in our lives. And if you are coming every night like this, and we still see you, that you are not behaving like somebody who is going to heaven, what will we do? Rise up and tell them. Tell him. So for, are you ready to avoid this great tribulation? If, if you are not ready, why can't you pray tonight? Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Help me. I don't want to suffer during this great tribulation. Uh, what you have, what you don't have will not matter on that day. Where we are afraid is great and small. Rich, rich and poor. It's not a matter of I am rich. It's not a matter of I am poor. Pray tonight, tell the Lord. Lord, help me. Help me with all these things I'm passing through. I, I should I remain here on how to suffer tri great tribulation? Pray tonight, tell the Lord. Pray. Badura. Pray now. On that day, there will be no even time to pray. But tonight you can pray and deliver yourself. Tonight you can repent. On that day, there will be no more time for repentance. Cry to the Lord tonight. Pray unto the Lord tonight. We are not, you are meditating. Instead of you to open your mouth wide and call upon the Lord, if rapture should take place now, will you make it? If death should come before daybreak, will you, will you, will you resurrect? During the first resurrection, Pray, pray, pray in the name of Jesus. Aggressive prayers. Pray as you understand that message. That is a very powerful and relevant message. It is a timely message. It's a timely message. This is all that we need to know this time around. Because we are already at the perilous days. This is the perilous days. This is the time we need to prepare for the rapture. 
Because rapture can take place any time from now. It could be the night or in the daytime. It may come before the end of this day. It could come, it come any time. Let's pray through. Rakura can see Kusoko Visi, Chiri Kusoko Visi, Yere can see Kusoko Pray, 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 pray in the name of Jesus. Badra, Badra, and Yoruko Jesu. Pray aggressively. Badra, Tara. Ura can see Kusoko Visi, Ura can see Kusoko Visi, Rakura can see Kusoko Visi, Rakura can see Kusoko Visi, Ura can see Kusoko Visi, Rakura can see Kusoko Rakura can see Kusoko Busi, Shiri Kusoko Busida, Shiri Kusoko Busida, Eric Tiko Soko Busida, Rakura can see Kusoko, Ura can see Kusoko Bushi, Kora can see Kusoko Busi, Shiri Kusoko Busida, Rakura can see Kusoko Bushi, Eric Teko Busida. Eh, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, sir, please, ma, I want you to take this message serious. At least this series of Bible, a systematic Bible study. God is specifically, specifically instructed us that we should begin from second coming, we should begin the study from the second coming of Christ. It is a divine instruction. It's a divine leading. Um, maybe about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. You know what happened? One of our children. The little among the little ones. You know, this time around we need to emphasize uh, that they should read the Bible and as well pray very well. And and say mo wale ti pe ki o mo kon ri da ji pe won ka bi pe ni won si ngba dura lori e. And at the same time encourage them uh, <coughs> to to flee from sin. So we used to have, um, <clears throat> have special time for them than before, like online before. To pray together and to study the word of God. Maybe about over two weeks ago. One of them dream. I One of the little ones. <laughs> According to her. When we wake up the morning, say, Mommy. See, see, see what I saw. She said, I found myself in her fire. And she saw a lot of little children like herself there. Little children. <laughs> Not the elderly ones, the little <laughs> children. She said she found a hair fire. And funny enough, she said she saw some of the uh, uh, children in this assembly in their midst. And she, she could able to recognize some of them. And she mentioned some of them. 
said, do you see now? No, she will not buy. So, so God does not see. You may see. You may see yourself as as kids, as a kid. But God does not see you that way. He wants you to give your life to Christ and as well flee from sin. And funny enough, that day, she, she herself decided not to, I mean, to fast. She did not take anything to school and come back without food as well. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. And this is a confirmation that this is not the time to be careless with your soul. If God could, can do with little kids that, that way, how much more we elderly ones? Do you get my point? It's a confirmation that God is not a respecter of man. And it's unfortunate today that many people fail to uh, see this, uh, this message as a timely message. It's unfortunate. Have been that we have been on that on a, a different topic, like uh, how to how to make weight. Ah. Ibi <laughs> Amen. In Jesus' name, you not know, come in vain. It is dangerous if your soul is not written in the uh, in heaven this time around. You have to seek and try your possible best and strive so that uh, your name will be written uh, in, in heaven. Because if it is a wet creation, you discover that many people will be here. But because of this teaching, many are not here. I beseech you, Master of God, don't be careless. Is it your soul? Don't assume that all say that because you are this, because you are that, you are a church elder, a prophet, a prophetess, I'm a pastor, and this and that, I've received ordination. No, all these things they are irrelevant. Make sure you pray through. Make sure your name is there. If you are not very sure, oh, it's like gambling with your soul, which is very, very dangerous. What I'm saying in essence is this. Tonight, make sure you pray through. As you pray, the Lord will receive, that you will surely receive as to your prayer. Say, Lord, I don't want to miss the rapture. No matter what it will cost me, I'm ready to make my way right with you. I'm ready to make a man. Let your great success for me. Pray in the name of Jesus. Rakuri Kasiri Kosoko Visidaba. Rakuri Kasiri Kosoko Visidaba. Rakuri Kasiri Kosoko Visidaba. Ereke Puri Kasiri Kosoko Visidaba. Ereke Puri Kasiri Kosoko Visidaba. Rakuri Ka. Pressure, 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 pressure. 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 Rakuri kasi kusoko busi daba. Aha. 
Thank you, Jesus. Pray through, pray through, pray through. I receive mercy of God. Pray through, pray through. Don't assume that there is no problem. Uh uh. That is the sin of assumption. When you assume, you are, God will see you as being careless with your soul. You don't care about your soul. You don't care where you will end your journey. Yeah. If God or not repent, if God or not uh, uh, regard or respect little children, how much more we, the adults? Uh-huh. If God is not partial with little child, how much more an elderly person like you that can read the word of God, you can do this and that. Ah, what is the profit of the gain of your Bible, Bible school? Aha. Don't be careless with your soul. I beseech you, mercy of God, don't be careless with your soul. I beseech you, mercy of God, don't be careless with your soul. Aha. Rakurika siri kusuko busidaba. Rakurika siri kusuko busidaba. Rakurika siri kusuko busidaba. Yereke purika siri kusuko busidaba. Purika siri kusuko rakashida. Aha. 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 Sairi kuhurika siri kusuko busidaba. Rakurika siri kusuko busidaba. Purika siri if God does not respect the, the, the kids, the kids, how much more with the adults? Uh-huh. God is not a respecter of man. He is not a respecter of man at all. I beseech mercy of God, you cannot afford to be careless with your soul. Don't be careless with your soul. Don't be careless with your soul. God is not a respecter of man. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida. Ore kasiri kusoko busida. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida. Ere ke puri kasiri kusoko busida. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Shiri kusoko busida ba. Ere ke puri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida. Ere ke puri kasiri kusoko. Ore kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida. Ere ke puri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Ere ke puri kasiri kusoko busida. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Ere ke puri kasiri kusoko busida. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida. Ere ke puri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri ka siri ka siri kusoko busida. Rakuri ka siri kusoko busida. Siri kusoko busida. Oh, ore ka ore ka siri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri ka siri kusoko bu. Siri ka pairi ka siri kusoko busida ba. Purika, Purika, Sidava, Sairika, Korika, Pirika, Pirika, Rakurika, Sikusu, Pirika, Sidikaba, Shiriko, Purika, Sidika, Sidava, Kurika, Sidika, Sidava, 
Aha. Aha. Ore ka sirko soko bisida. Ra kure ka sirko soko bisida. Ere ke pure ka sirko soko bisida. Ra kure ka sare ka soko bo. Aha. 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 Ore ka tsare ko soko bisida. Aha. Ore ka sirko soko bisida ba. Ra kure ka sirko soko bisida ba. Rakure ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Yere ke puri ka seri ka te ko bisida ba. Kure ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Rakure ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Rakure ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Rakure ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Ora ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Ora ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Hayri ko soko bisida ba. Rakore ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Ore ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Rakore ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Rakore ka seri ko soko bisida ba. Rakuri ka seri ko seri ko soko bisida ba. Rakore ka seri ko soko ba. Aha. 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 Ora ka sai ko soko bisida ba. Ra kore ka sai ko soko bisida ba. Ora ka sai re ko soko bisida. Ora ka sai ko soko bisida ba. Ra kuri ka sai ko soko bisida ba. Kuri ka sai ko soko bisida ba. Aha. 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 Aha, aha, aha. Ra kore ka sai ko soko bisida ba. Ora ka sai ko soko bisida ba. Ra kore ka sai ko soko bisida ba. Kore ka sai ko soko bisida ba. Ra kore ka sai ko soko bisi. Kore ka sai ko soko bisi. Ora ka sai ko soko bisi. Ora ka sai ko soko bisida ba. Ra kuri ka sai ka. Pairika, pairika, sirika. Aha, 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 aha. Ora ka siriko soko bisida ba. Siriko so. And and Jesus, then we pray. Let me tell you these secrets. This is just the last prayer point. Do you know why it will be? Uh, I mean, to make heaven may not be easy. Do you know the reason? Number one. As an individual, you must work out your salvation with fear, according to the Bible. That is Philippians chapter one, verse twelve. Your own personal life. Not only that. Your spouse. Your spouse. Is it like that? There is nothing like that. You must complain about your husband or your wife. Or maybe you are saying that my husband is a drunkard and I pray enough. So I don't have time for him again. I want to make my own, only my own way right before God. No. What about the shire? I want my one call. Ah, we have told you. Oh, you can't come now, woman. You are not a man. Tell me, don't you want to feel it? Tell me. Give me some advice, Joshi. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Pastor. Hmm. Ah, we need to know you. We need to get you back to Babalo. Then, a woman come. Ah, we need to find out. There is nothing like that. Oh, Ibe, you cannot say you have lived your children alone. Maybe because they are wayward and you have spoken to them, you have preached to them, and they are still wayward. No, you cannot say you are on your own. No. Bugba, a woman too. You pata pata. All your children that you have, you gave back to. Even if it is one. Or twelve. You will give account of every one of them. It is not a matter of who you are. It is not a matter of who you are. It is not a matter of who you are.
you will give account. Tio bati, tio ekene kolo kwe. Tio account ye, lori ya umaka okan. Tio bati kwo joshu wan. Pe, ye patu ye koko kilo shele. If your, Telling you the truth. If your accounts on those children are not genuine, uh, God will send you to Esfire direct. Not only that, what about your relations? I won't be rancor. Ah, I'm Muslim. 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 Oh, give a can. He didn't know you. That feel like the dark bar no luwa. Baba, I told you, Baba, I will. Yeah, I told you, Golo Guaje. Kilo Shele. Go go. If I told Saluri, Lolo, my Golo Roshi one. Talk. Ti. I am going to pull up. Tell me about the day, Larry. Oh, the day, Larry. If you are standing by me. Oh, ne shashi de ano. Amen. Molo, ne shashi de ano. Amen. Ati be be be. Not only that. He did not come. He went to Kanla anywa. As somebody in our midst. Very, very fervent. What I call her, or something like that. I just, I don't know. Maybe God took her to air, heaven or fire. Only one be only we pay. I want to. I want to work as you want to pay. Go back once or two. What you pay? Oh, oh, oh! Koshin, get calori. Kilo chele. Olu, olu ade down. Ah! I want to be Muslim. Oh, yeah. Only go back so, back so, back so. Kelly, we pay to make heaven. So easy, bye. I can hear you. So far, ah. Thus says the Lord. My children. And your mommy. Pray over this. And work on it. Until I justify you. Before you can lay with me. Set of fools. Peace be unto you. You get the message. Tell the Lord. Help me. I don't want to be condemned. Concerning my husband. Concerning my wife. Even over my children. My family members. Even the neighbors. Help me, O Lord. Let your grace be sufficient for me. Ah. Ha. Here they keep pouring cassiri kusoko busida ba. Rakore cassiri kusoko busida. Here they keep pouring cassiri kusoko busida ba. Here they keep pouring cassiri kusoko busida ba. Rakore cassiri kusoko busida ba. Here they keep pouring cassiri kusoko busida ba. Let's pray through. Let's pray through. Let's pray through. Rakore cassiri kusoko busida ba. Rakore cassiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri 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 kusoko rakasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Ora kasiri kusoko busida busida busi. Let's pray through, let's pray through, let's pray through. Here we go. Puri ka seri ko soko bu sida ba. Rakuri ka seri ko soko bu sida ba. Ora ka puri ka. Rakuri ka. Pairi ka. Pairi ka. Aha. Ora ka seri ko soko bu. Ora ka seri ko soko bu sida ba. Ora ka seri ko. What about your wife? What about your husband? What about your children? What about the co-workers and the neighbors? Oko renko. Aya renko. Aha. You will give account. Oh, Jean. Over these people. Oh, Jean, don't you want? There is no place of hiding at all. 
There is no place of hiding at all. No place of hiding. No place of hiding. Uh -huh. No place of hiding at all. No place of hiding at all. Don't assume that there is no problem. Uh -huh. There is problem. Except you are awake to your responsibility. Except you are alive unto your responsibility. Aha. Yes, 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 yes. Ora kasiri kusoko busida ba. Ra kure kasiri kusoko busida ba. Aha. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That is the purpose of this study. To let you know what lies ahead of you. To know what lies ahead of you. So that you will have no excuse. There is no hiding place for anybody. At all, at all, at all. No place of hiding at all. Uh -huh. No place of hiding at all. Uh -huh. No place of hiding at all. Uh -huh. No place of hiding at all. The Lord will ask you, where is your husband? Where is your wife? Where are your children? Where are your neighbors? The co-workers? Where are they? Ah. <laughs> what? what about your parents? Where are they? Did you talk to them? Did you witness to them? Did you intercede for them? Did you witness to them? Did you talk to them? Ah. <laughs> this is 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 an onerous task. It's an onerous task. It's a great task. It is a great task ahead. <laughs> No hiding place at all. No hiding place at all. I say no hiding place at all. Except the Lord justify you. Before you can scale through. You cannot justify yourself at all. Unless just Unless God justify you. Ah, ya piti olu afra la le bata olare. Aha. Ore kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakure kasiri kusoko busida ba. Ere kete kusida busida ba. Ere ke pure kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakure kasiri kusoko busida ba. Ere ke pure kasiri kusoko busida. Jesu Christi Oluawa Ni Uruko Jesu Ni Uruko Jesu Baba wa ati Olorun wa Eleda ya ati Orun anyo agbe oga lopopolopo Jesu se Oluwa gbo pe wa Adupe fun oro re to ti ran si wa ati sawari arawa ati ri arawa ati ri bitakusi baba ori ofe ti afi sa tu se Oluwa yo da re fun wa a fe se lasun a fe ba ojoba ni keyin baba ori ofe ti a fi ronu kuada ti a fi se ife re oluwa yo da re fun wa la toni lo baba mu wa setan mu wa setan lati ba ojoba oluwa mu wa setan 
a fe setan a fe ba ijoba nikan oluwa ja ba ijoba oluwa ba ijoba oro ti an gbo yi adura ta an gba oluwa ma ja gba sidale bi ma ja gbo sidale bi ma ja gbo sidale bi oluwa ka wa ye mu wa dele nikan ja ba ijoba ja ba ijoba ka gba ka bo mo dere oluwa se be fun wa baba gbugbu awon ade gbugbu awon mere mere o ni lo re awa lo se fun baba ori ofe ta fi lo oluwa yoda re fun wa ma ja se lasan esu ese ma jo mu wa ku lodo re esu ese ma jo mu wa ku lodo re o wa ye ma jo mu wa ku lodo re baba ka wa ye baba loju orun loju alawa oluwa ko si wa da se ma sun lale oluwa ko si wa ibi ta ko si oluwa fi won wa o ri ofe atunse oluwa yo da re fun wa ogo ni fun oruko oluwa baba wa ati awon ran ojo olorun to ti lo lokan ojo kan lati gba irole yi oruko jesu oluwa gbe won woro tun oluwa tun won se ogbon kun ogbon oye ku oye oluwa yo da re fun won ifa mo royan tun emi mo re oluwa jo ma gboronu won ogo ni fun oruko oluwa jesu christi oluwa wa eja pato fun jesus